Episode 1 of The Dangers in My Heart Season 2 starts with Chiro and others asking Kyotaro about his broken arm. Adachi's frustrated by the attention Kyotaro's receiving from the girls. Kyotaro's grasp on his female classmate's attention stops when they notice his Akita keychain. Yamada reminds Kyotaro to come to her if he's ever having trouble. Later, we cut to Kyotaro and his teacher discussing the situation with his broken arm. Although his teacher insists he receives help from someone like Yamada, Kyotaro says he'll be fine and tells his teacher he and Yamada aren't too close. When Kyotaro enters the classroom, Yamada gives him a dissatisfied stare, causing Kyotaro to panic. At his desk, Kyotaro realizes writing with his left hand isn't working out for him. He believes he'll need someone to give him a copy of today's notes. Fortunately, Adaki provides him with just that. Later, Kyotaro confronts Yamada about his conversation with their teacher and apologizes for saying he doesn't want to rely on her. Kyotaro admits he wants to rely on Yamada for help with his current and future issues, and Yamada confirms she knew this from the beginning. While walking home together, Kyotaro asks Yamada not to converse with Adaki too much. She playfully asks why, but Kyotaro doesn't give a solid answer. Then, we see Yamada helping Kyotaro with things for several weeks. Kyotaro reflects on it all and admits he's not used to Yamada's methods. In class, Kyotaro hears Adachi and other male classmates discussing an idol magazine with Yamada in it. Kyotaro informs them Yamada's appeared in several variety shows and movies. The boys wonder if Yamada's trying to become an idol. Adachi wonders what Yamada would look like in a swimsuit. But when Yamada passes by, he stops thinking about it. Later, Yamada asks Kyotaro what he, Adaki, and the others were discussing earlier. Kyotaro says it was nothing special. The two visit a convenience store and Yamada checks out a magazine that features her. She shares details about her experience working with this company. Yamada purchases magazines for Kyotaro and the two leave the store. Kyotaro plans to ask questions about Yamada's work so he can learn more about her. Yamada shows her more photos from the magazine and asks Kyotaro which he likes the most. Kyotaro admits the Yamada he's speaking to now is different from the one who is in the magazine. Yamada informs Kyotaro about how different the idol life feels in comparison to her normal one. Overall, Yamada tells Kyotaro she enjoys being an idol. During their home economics class, Hara chats with Kyotaro about what he did over winter break. Then, Hara asks Yamada a similar question and she lists a bunch of things she did over the holiday. Hara confirms she and Kanzaki visited a shrine and things got awkward between them because Kanzaki showed her his grown-out sideburns. Then, their home economics teacher scolds them about their bangs and bandanas. Yamada assists Kayotaro with his bandana and Hara realizes something is up between the two. Then, the three reunite with Adaki and another classmate over the food they made in class. Before Yamada eats Adaki's dish, Kyotaro eats it first. He tells Adachi it tastes great. Hara notices Kayotaro's keychain fell and hands it to him. Yamada remarks how cute the keychain is and before Hara can ask Kyotaro about it, Kanzaki arrives and chats with her. In the library, Kayotaro wonders if Hara knows what's going on between him and Yamada. He wonders how Yamada would respond to her Hara if she asked her questions about it. Yamada falls asleep while helping Kayotaro. But she apologizes for doing so and Kayotaro admits she's been apologizing to him a lot recently. To uplift Yamada's spirits, Kayotaro shows her a photo of his sister during her coming-of-age ceremony. Then Kyotaro shows him a snow scenery photo he took based on Yamada's request from season 1. Kyotaro accidentally tells Yamada this is how he broke his arm, making her sad again. Kyotaro tells Yamada he fell because he's not careful enough. The two leave the library on awkward terms. The following day, Kyotaro informs the audience that Yamada hasn't contacted as much lately. Chihiro, Moeko, and Serena confront Kyotaro about Yamada's weird behavior lately. Yamada arrives at class and realizes her keychain's missing. Kyotaro doesn't know if he should lend her his keychain or not. Simultaneously, Kentaro's teacher informs everyone they'll be ending today's lecture early due to upcoming weather issues. Kayotaro meets Hara and Kanzaki by the lockers. Hara confronts him about the keychain dilemma. Kyotaro leaves school to look for Yamada's keychain, but Moeko notices him during her stroll home and points Kayotaro in the proper direction. While searching for Yamada's keychain, 
Kyotaro bumps into Yamada. We learn that Moeko sent Yamada a text about Kyotaro looking for something. Kyotaro discovers Yamada's keychain is hanging on a tree, and she thanks him for helping her find it. Kyotaro sneezes and Yamada suggests they stop by her home to warm up. The episode closes with Kyotaro looking at Yamada's home. Episode 2 of The Dangers in My Heart Season 2 starts with Yamada and Kyotaro arriving at Yamada's apartment. Yamada helps Kyotaro get comfortable, but Kyotaro tells her she doesn't have to worry about assisting him with things of that nature. In Yamada's bathtub, Kyotaro observes the area but stops himself because he doesn't want to come off as a weird person. He tries to leave but stops himself when Yamada arrives with spare clothes. Yamada leaves for a few moments, giving Kayataro a chance to change clothes. He wonders why Yamada left him her clothes and not proper male clothes. While searching the area, Kyotaro realizes his underwear is missing and believes they're in Yamada's bag. He puts on Yamada's clothes and plans to retrieve his underwear without Yamada noticing. Unfortunately, Wantaro Ayamada's pet corgi spooks Kyotaro. Yamada arrives seconds later and asks Kyotaro if he prefers chicken or chan. Wantaro bites Kyotaro's clothes and Kyotaro tries stopping the canine because he doesn't want to reveal his male qualities to Yamada. Yamada assists Kyotaro, resulting in a slightly risk exchange between the two. Fortunately, Kyotaro finds time to grab his undergarments and visits Yamada in her dining area to eat. Yamada tells Kyotaro she tends to eat hot pot whenever her mother arrives home late from work. Kyotaro finds her daily ritual upsetting, so Yamada asks him if he'd like to stop by and eat with her on days like this one. Kyotaro changes the subject and asks Yamada to show him the things she wants to share with him. Yamada takes out her yearbook and the two observe the photos stored within it. Kyotaro spots a piano nearby and asks Yamada if she plays it. Yamada says she dabbled in many activities but would quit them instantly because she wasn't proficient in any of them like other kids. She reveals her family had a tradition of giving Yamada her favorite meal every time she quit something. Then, Yamada tells Kyotaro she's worried she'll make those who care about her despise her. Kyotaro comforts Yamada about the issue. Yamada confronts Kyotaro about an event that took place before winter break during season one, when he didn't visit the library for several days. Kyotaro apologizes to Yamada for those past actions. Minutes later, Yamada wonders why she's worried about things of this caliber. Kyotaro speculates it's because she's growing up and goes into detail about why her parents treat her the way they do. Yamada looks at her phone and realizes her mother's on her way. She panics and hides Kayotaro in her room. While Yamada distracts her mother, Kyotaro feels bad that he's the reason Yamada has to lie to her mother. After shoving her mother away, Yamada enters her room and tells Kyotaro that her father will be arriving home soon. Kyotaro wonders what Yamada's father is like. Before she can go into detail about him, her mother rushes into her room. Thankfully, Yamada hides Kyotaro under the covers to help him avoid detection. After Yamada sorts things out with her mother, her mother leaves, giving Kyotaro a chance to apologize to Yamada. Before Kyotaro notices, Yamada lands atop Kyotaro, putting them in an intimate position. Yamada tells Kyotaro this is payback for that time and says she's fine with lying to her mother since she's grown up now. While taking the elevator, he meets a large man who we can assume is Yamada's father. Kyotaro flees and states how he never wants to visit this place again. However, he changes his stance when Yamada texts him. At home, Kyotaro wonders what he should do about Yamada's clothes. He leaves his bathroom and bumps into his sister who is currently changing. This results in a humorous exchange between the two. In his room, Kyotaro contemplates what will happen between Yamada and himself when she gets a whiff of her attire. Then, Kyotaro's imaginary friend arrives and sends encouraging remarks Kyotaro's way. Before arriving at school, Kyotaro says he's happy to be free from his cast, but realizes something's off about his voice. At school, Chihiro notices Kyotaro's cast's gone and shares a funny food-related story about Yamada with him. In private, Yamada questions Kyotaro about his arm. Kyotaro says it's fine even though it's gotten skinnier. During class, Yamada texts Kyotaro and tells him it's okay for them to make eye contact with each other. Then. Our leads attend karate class and Yamada realizes her clothes stink. After their teacher demonstrates the maneuver he'd like them to try, Yamada and Kayotaro spar with each other a bit. 
Yamada slams Kyotaro to the ground after he brings up an interesting point to her. Kotaro reflects on his relationship with Yamada and worries about what the future holds for them. In the library, Kyotaro opens up about his voice issues to Yamada. He doesn't think it's a cold but wonders what's wrong with it. Yamada finds Kyotaro's developments fascinating and believes it's because he's undergoing maturation. Yamada observes Kyotaro's arms and informs him that his other arm is getting bigger. Kyotaro is surprised he didn't notice his growth himself. Yamada asks Kyotaro to say her name plenty of times when his voice deepens. Kyotaro notices Yamada's undergoing her developments, resulting in another amusing yet risk moment between the two. Episode 3 of The Dangers in My Heart Season 2 starts with Moko reminding Yamada and the other girls that Valentine's Day is approaching. Kyotaro overhears their discussion and states how he was never interested in the holiday. Moeko tells Yamada they should all make something for their male classmates. Yamada suggests something of the chocolate variety and Moko likes the sound of that. She believes the boys will cherish these gifts if they know Yamada helped make them. Yamada shows slight concern since she's not skillful at baking snacks and things of that nature. Moko asks Yamada if she'd like to visit her place to work on the gifts, but Yamada suggests they make it all at her place. Yamada stares at Kyotaro and he realizes she may want him to participate in this activity. Kyotaro arrives at Yamada's home with Chihiro and Serena arriving seconds later. Chihiro asks Kyotaro what he's doing here, and Kyotaro says he's just passing by. Internally, he questions if Yamada invited him here. Before Kyotaro leaves, he runs into Moko. Moko grabs Kyotaro and has him accompany her, Chihiro and Serena to Yamada's home. Yamada opens her door and Moko teases Yamada for being dressed professionally for the occasion. Kyotaro and the others enter Yamada's home and Yamada's mother Sane greets them. Sanai questions why Yamada invited a boy to her home. To avoid conflict, Moiko tells Sane that Kyotaro is her boyfriend. As the girls prepare to bake the chocolates, Kyotaro questions if he made the right decision by coming here. Yamada helps Kyotaro with his button problem, which makes Sane suspicious. Moeko takes over and helps Kyotaro instead. Before they begin, Moko calls Kyotaro by his name, which upsets Yamada a bit. Before Sane asks Moko about her relationship with Kyotaro, Yamada forces her out of the room. Moeko reminds Kyotaro that he should start thinking of something to give Yamada on White Day. Chihiro questions why Moko's insistent on Kyotaro getting Yamada a gift, but Serena says she won't understand. Chihiro feels she and Yamada are the only ones who have their innocence intact. Moko asks Serena and Chihiro if they know what Yamada likes most. Chihiro shares a story about her first encounter with Yamada and believes she likes her the most. Chihiro rambles on about Yamada's views of her and Moko doubts Chihiro's claims. Yamada and Sunei return. Sunei tells Yamada that she's unsure if she should let them be. Yamada says she and her friends will be fine and kindly asks Sane to sit down and stay quiet. Moeko asks Kyotaro if they should take things a step further. After noticing Yamada's reaction to it all, Serena yells and everyone stops what they are doing. Kyotaro leaves the table to wash some dishes. Yamada asks him condescendingly if he's having fun. Kyotaro ignores Yamada and heads to the bathroom to contemplate. He feels he should leave, but his imaginary friend appears and tells him he shouldn't. His imaginary comrade tells him he should tell Sane the truth since it could spell doom for Kyotaro's plans with Yamada. Kyotaro tells his friend to leave him be. Before Kyotaro leaves, he tells Sanai that he and Moko aren't dating. Sanai stops Kyotaro and asks him if he's the same person Yamada told her about. Kyotaro confirms he is the same boy and the two discuss matters for a bit before Yamada interrupts them. Yamada pulls Sanai inside and asks Kyotaro to stay. Kyotaro complies and Yamada asks him why he didn't reveal the truth sooner. Kyotaro says he didn't want to force Yamada to lie to her mother again. Kyotaro and Yamada enter her home and Kyotaro notices Serene, Chihiro and Moeko are shivering in fear. He realizes it's because Yamada's father decided to partake in their chocolate making activity. Yamada's father leaves for a bit and Yamada uses the opportunity to apologize to Moko. Simultaneously, Kyotaro recalls his first encounter with Yamada's father at the elevator and wishes he didn't have to meet her dad this soon. The father returns and glares at Kyotaro menacingly. Before Kyotaro speaks, Yamada's father asks Kyotaro if he likes games. Yamada's father leads him to their living room so they can play a game together. Yamada's father reveals no one plays a game besides him, upsetting Yamada. Yamada and her dad compete in a game for a few seconds. Moko enters the room which entices Yamada and Sane to leave for a bit. Moeko speaks with Kyotaro for a bit and becomes enamored by Yamada's father's dashing looks. Later, Moko asks Yamada's mother if Yamada's father can try their chocolates. Yamada's mother leads the girls to Yamada's father's location and Yamada pulls Kyotaro aside so he can try the chocolate she made for him. 
Kyotaro says the chocolate is too sweet but lets Yamada know this is just his opinion. Yamada tries the dessert herself and is thankful Kyotaro came here. Kyotaro, Serene, and Moko leave Yamada's home. Serene asks Kyotaro if he's been here before since he seemed familiar with the place's structure. Moko teases Kyotaro for a bit and confronts Serene about her weird behavior earlier. Serene tells Moko that she is having too much fun flirting with Kyotaro and doesn't want Yamada to get upset. At home, Kana learns Kyotaro spent the day baking chocolates with many girls in school and is flustered by the idea of her brother building a harem for himself. Suddenly, Kyotaro receives a phone call from Yamada and heads somewhere to speak with her. Yamada asks him to share his thoughts about her mother and father. Kyotaro says he was taken aback at first but found them to be kind and mature. Yamada informs Kyotaro that she asked her parents for their opinions on her friend. Her father hopes Kyotaro will arrive again so he can get his friend code. As for Sanai, she says they met her expectations. After the phone call, Kyotaro and Kana have a drink together. Kana asks Kyotaro when he plans to ask Yamada out on a date. Kyotaro is unsure because he feels he lacks confidence and doesn't know how Yamada truly feels about him. Kana rambles on about the concept of growing up and change, but Kyotaro feels his feelings for Yamada won't change. Kyotaro shares his worries about his and Yamada's future and wonders if there'll ever be a time when she forgets him. Kyotaro screeches into a pillow and tells Kana that he wants to be Yamada's boyfriend. As Yamada and Kyotaro walk to school together the following day, Yamada tells him she can't figure out what chocolate to give to her other male classmates. Kyotaro suggests Yamada not to worry about it and Yamada complies. The episode closes with Kyotaro vowing to try harder to reach his romantic endgame with Yamada.